Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. I have very good news for all of you. Would you look at this? Out of all these people, nine of them, I got first place. What a joke. You never would have thought it would happen, but guess what? It happened and I got first place. What a joke, right? Hey. You know what it is? I reckon some of these sneaky bastards are looking at our videos and joining at the last second in order for them to be able to get the solid number one. So you know what? Do a little bit of reversal and I go, hey, maybe if I join earlier, they may not even know. Guess what? Bagged it. I bagged the first place. So I reckon that at the end of the day, no matter what time you join, you're going to be joining with people around the same level as you, irregardless, irregardless of where you are. So what, what I mean by that is that if you're around the same level of where you started in, say, um, your tournament or in, started in, in terms of where you're, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, transcendence, you're going to be at exactly the same spot as who you are when you guys started. So that means once transcendence starts, you have to farm like crazy. The reason why I say this is that one of my team members or my clan members, his name is someone, if you join Discord, you know who he is, okay? So he is joining every tournament at the beginning of tournaments and he's winning it like crazy. And I reckon he's winning it like crazy because this guy is insane, right? He's able to do my level of um, where I am and he's trying to catch up to me on his very first transcendence, which is actually mind blowing. Screw the ass, I'm not gonna do the ass, but it's actually insane that he's trying to catch up to me. So this guy is crazy in a good way. So I reckon that at the end of the day, if you are able to work hard, meritocracy wins the game. And if that's the case, I concur, this is a good thing, okay? Tournament system works well. So that is where I am at the moment. So guys, I am on holiday, so I am very sorry for not posting continuous videos on this and that and so forth. But hey, at least I'll show you the W of where I am. And I'm telling you, it is worth it. One more thing is this. If you have any kind of diamonds, please, Spend it on your Titan Souls on your Necro Bear. Let me show you real quick. Okay, I'm at like, regardless of where I am, blah, blah, blah. Look at someone. This guy is at Necro Bear 389. And I am at, where am I? Where am I? Where can, where, where can I show you? Where can I show you where I am? 389. I'm at 236. He's doing more damage with lower raid cards than I am. And yet he's doing more damage in the clan uh, bloody raid than I am. So what I'm trying to say is that the Necro Bear is going to make a huge, huge difference at the end of the day. So if you want it, if you want to win it, you want to focus on the Necro Bear over diamonds on whatever crafting sets or whatever this, that and everything because that will make you unstoppable. So for now, I reckon the new matter is get your necro bear up as high as you can, and that way you can get as high as you can in terms of wherever you are, and they're gonna match make you with whoever started at whatever season or whatever transcendence you are at, and give you the best win possible. So that's my new prerogative. I may be wrong, I may be right, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, but however, I reckon that's a new way of making things happen, and that's how you're gonna get that W. Alrighty, that's all for me, guys. I will catch you at the new um, AT, and at the new AT, I will drop a new video. Until then, I'll catch you all later. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, and I'll catch you soon. Catch you all later. Bye bye.